All right, happy mechanic and day, broke necks. So we got the Grizz 350 that we sunk on the last ride. Spark plugs out, and I have a new starter. Gonna take apart the recoil, get it recoiling. Of course, now that everything's dry and warm, it all works nice and no, it doesn't, still doesn't suck it back up. Now I did it. Great. Yeah, great. So I'm gonna take apart the recoil, make sure the recoil is working good, just in case. You never know. Starter's buried underneath there. That's what we're gonna do. Maybe we'll take out the 350 and put in a, like a 1200 cc. Okay, let's get started. We're starting with step one, which is taking the battery off. Step one is not to take the battery off. <laughs> step one is remove the... The what? The electrical oh. connections. Since we're working with electricity. Actually, that's all I need. Just take the ground off. Now, we can start removing this body pack. And what's required to do that? I have a four millimeter Allen on a socket. So this machine is a 2007 Grizzly, bought it brand new. It's kind of the base model of the base models. There's no speedometer, no hour meter, no odometer. So if I had to guess how many miles are on this thing, I'm gonna say at least 175,000 miles. <laughs> Is that right? That's that's my guess. <laughs> All right. Now we should be able to. After remove the gas cap, didn't never made it very far, did it? <laughs> a couple minutes in, well. Wow. And I have things wired to this, so this won't go. Oh, there's far. a switch. You got a switch. Yes, I have a switch. Real great. Yeah. Guess I'll take my toggle switch off. This is for the light bar. <gasps> oh. Oh. I got it. Now. Does it say urinated? Urinated. <laughs> Ur Ur urinated. There's a joke there somewhere. Some the heck down you here. know, I think you'd be better off just pulling the gas tank. What is it? Uh, it's four bolts. And a gas line, what? It's full. <laughs> so, <laughs> like, not just a little full, it's like uh. really full. All right, well, against our better judgment, we're gonna take the fuel tank off. Move it out of the way so we can get to everything. What do you, well, you just gotta go easy on it, man. Look. This is what you do. Well, you need step a, down you need to a step down. Oh, oh yeah, that'll... Oh, it's already... Oh! <gasps> oh. <laughs> get it, get it, quick! Oh, what he can this? film and take bolts out. Okay. It's like magic. Oh, well. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Sure. Yeah. What's the worst that can happen? Here. <gasps> oh. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. That wasn't too bad. Oh. So we took... 12 millimeter right there and pulled this choke out of the side of the carb. So there's the choke. The choke is now officially out of the way. So once we got a Phillips in there, now we figured out how that comes off. Ooh. Ooh. Should just pull straight. Don't turn the <laughs> gas. You just turn the gas. All right, fine. I'll turn it back. <laughs> Put it back on off. Put a string on it. So now that fuel tank should just lift right up. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh, tip the hat. <laughs> We're stuck on. Mm. Oh. There you go. Oh, yeah. All right, now Ooh. there's all kinds of room. Look at that. It didn't do, didn't do squat. How's that gonna help get to the starter? <laughs> <laughs> that's not gonna do a <laughs> thing. We gotta get vacuum. I think that's, ah, oh, look at that, look at that. All this room now. Get rolling. Is it not that Phillips? Is, no, it's not a Phillips. What is it? It's I an Allen. Oh. Allen. Alan! 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 Al! Alan! 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 Al! Oh, why would they use an Alan? Alan! Alan! Oh. Al! Now we should just be able to. This should be loose enough to just pull it out of the rubber boot. Okay. We got the carburetor out. It's been removed. The flashlight, like I was doing. There we go. A bolt here and a bolt here. We'll take those two bolts out and don't forget to undo the power wire. And 
starter should come right out. And I say, should. Good. So what did we just do? Um, well, I explained how we got the carburetor out. Okay. Now I'm going to undo the power wire. Mm -hmm. Where's that? Right on top of the starter. Ooh, see that? Okay, power wire's off. Okay. And those are the bolts. Let's see if I can. Wow, look at that. It's like magic. Yeah, I went in there and broke them free already. I, I do believe it should go straight back. Don't wanna, gotta be careful a little bit because you can munch this housing. Oh. Oh. And we'll need to shop vac again. One starter. She's good. Nice sealed O-ring, no water got in there. Okay, let's shop vac her up. All right, so what I'm gonna do now, oh, it's sealed and everything. We're gonna compare. Just compare make sure. sizes. Compare. <laughs> yeah. wow. She looks good. So the other thing I did was to make sure that underneath the starter was to clean that surface area up really good because the starter is grounded through the housing. So we replaced the starter bolts, got everything all lined up, replace the power wire to the starter. Now it's time to put everything back together. Important rule of all this is assembly is opposite of disassembly. We hook the battery back up. We're going to try and start it and just make sure it works before we put everything back together, right? Turn the key. You're close to the starter button. Say so you're good to go. Made noise. Okay, boy.